Okay, this is Nemo Skull from rcgroups.com again um, with my latest creation. I took a wire wrapping tool from uh, Radio Shack and it's just a basic wire wrapping tool I like to have. Um, only catch is this top I cut off about an eighth of an inch so then I could use standard hole through components and wire wrapping. Um, I'm not really sure how well this is going to hold up because my wire wrapping sucks and um, I, I'm doing things that aren't, I've never had documentation uh, of, of what they're doing, you know, wire wrapping standard through hole components with, with wire wrapping, you usually put them into a socket with they have big long sockets, so I don't know how well this is going to hold up, but um, initially it seems to work, uh, for example, these uh, are three pin headers each, these are used to program a Arduino Mini Pro. I, I got this one off eBay. It comes from China. It's like 10 bucks for a 5 volt, 16 megahertz version. And I was able to program them just fine. Uh, again, using using these pins and using external power, which uh, is here. This is actually going into a CNC machine one day. I'm working on on uh, on a controller using where is a blessed thing magnetic. All effect sensors, and here I just have a standard dollar and a half uh, Toshiba H bridge. It's good for an amp and a half, they say, with a heat sink. I don't know how much I'm gonna do like like this, but for right now, that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm I've also been able to successfully wire wrap standard uh, wire. I don't know whatever it is. This these are connectors I got from Autofruit.com. It's a great place to get this kind of stuff. Oh, that music's annoying me. I don't know. I have it on. Um, Anyways, so that's about it. I'm, I'm using I'm using this stuff, turbo tacky glue, to uh, kind of add some. What the heck is it called? Strain relief. I need to eat again. Uh, here and I I actually used it to attach the the chip because the chip is kind of funny. Got this funny Y shape, V shape at the bottom. Uh, so it wobbled a lot, so I glued it in place, and it took like 24 hours to dry because it's cold here. But it's it's a clear coating. It's a nice, great stuff, slightly flexible. These don't come like this. I joined them with this super glue I got from Hobby King. It's like three dollars, and that's about it.